Hey guys, welcome to the back nine. We're here for the third round FPO lead card. And it's brought to you by Innova and the PDGA. We are out here on Brewster Ridge, uh, the wooded hole of the two complimentary courses. We are hanging out with Paige Bierkes, Paige Pierce, Rebecca Cox, and Sarah Hokum. We watched them all kind of struggle in the front nine. So we're hoping that maybe we can get a little momentum switch in the back. Um, Paige Bierk is still holding on to the lead at this point by, was it still five? I think five strokes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we get to move on to the scenic hole, hole 10. Big <laughs> vista, big downhill, um, 410 feet, but I think reachable by the big arms in the field. Um, with full a mountain flex. View. Full, full flex downhill, <laughs> full commitment. Uh, you do not want to go left or right, but there's not out of bounds, just some pretty thick woods. Yep, keeping it center is the name of the game here. Sarah does a good job. No left or right on that disc. Yeah, she doesn't try to bite off too much. She says, you know what, I'm just going to put it down there near Smart circle play. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rebecca puts a lot of power on her frisbee. Oof, I liked the line. Doesn't quite turn over as much as she'd want, but she gets a good kick out into the uh, into the edge of the fairway. Yeah. Page going big D. Oh, she's trying to get all the way down there. Unfortunately, hits early tree. It's kind of a tough up and down. And that's Paige Beer. This is drive here going down the center. She's way down there. Wow. Just outside the circle, it looks like. This basket still has some guardian trees. Oh, is this Paige? <sighs> looks like Paige might have just thrown, Paige Pierce might have just thrown a forehand Pierce approach. Pierce or Hope? Go Maybe on. it was Hoka. I'm not sure. <laughs> it might have been Pierce. Your guess is as good as ours. Someone just threw a forehand and it's <laughs> near the circle. <laughs> <laughs> and Rebecca's down there too. In, in the, okay, uh, it, was it was Paige. So Paige. here we go. Sarah had a nice one down a little closer. Backhand approach. She, I like that she's committing to them. She says that she's still nervous to use them, but she mm -hmm. wants to use them in competition to practice. Yeah. Made that one look easy. Paige runs at it. Yeah, just outside of the circle. We like to call that an air ball. Oh. Does not clean up for her par. Big comeback and no problem. For the par. No problem for your uh, current leader. Rebecca cleans up as well. I wonder what Paige's mental game is right now. It's so crazy to be in a tournament like this and lead for so many rounds in a row. Yeah, she's holding it. Holding it together. Holding it together really well so far. I mean, she's held her lead for a while now, mm -hmm. and uh, she's been sleeping on her lead and coming out strong. And um, it's really impressive to see it. Continuing to play extremely confidently. She's playing how we all want to play, just cleanly mm -hmm. and confidently. Yeah, definitely. So there's only one two in the field on this hole, Jessica Weiss. Nice. I wonder if it was a backhand or a forehand. You never really can. Forehand. Forehand? It was. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got to it watch. It funny. I played with her and <laughs> yeah, she had commented that uh, I guess she didn't think it was a forehand hole, but Garrett told her it, it was and <laughs> she put G it right in the some, circle. It was, yeah. Double G has some quality advice. Yeah. Good caddy work. Yep. Uh, hole 11, one of the signature holes on the course, downhill the whole way, the beast. Um, you just want to keep it in the middle, just like every, every fairway. It's such a hard hole, yeah. Great signature hole, though. Mm -hmm. Like you said, just like the last hole, there are many holes out here. Keep it in the middle. Don't be left or right, because then you find a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. There's a, sort of another, fair, an alternate fairway if you go way left, kind of down where Hokum's heading. Yeah, after um, seeing Kona rip it straight down that first round, I wanted to try to punch it down there. Yep. It's so Did hard it work? to do that, though. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> so like, be long, be long. It's uh, it's like we said on the last round coverage. It's there's definitely a fairway there, but it's just so low ceiling that it's not the greatest option. No, it's difficult to get there, but if you find yourself there, it's it's great. Um, so Rebecca you, comes out a little bit early, places herself nice and long down the fairway. Wow. Though. Okay, just keeping it center cut. Wow, that's such a great shot. Is that yeah. a cutter? That's a nice one to keep her uh, in a good placement. Mm-hmm. So you saw a little stat on the corner. The average uh, score on this hole for the ladies' field is a 5.2. So this didn't play that friendly. We're Ouch. going a stroke, almost a stroke and a half over par. It yeah. plays really tough. You know, if I'm getting out of this hole with a five, I'm like really Stoked. happy. <laughs> yeah. 5.2. I'll, I'll take that all day. 
<laughs> like round this, down. We got my trouble hole taking sixes, unfortunately. Ugh, ouch. So even though Paige kind of had to pitch out, uh, she's still way down there, and she'll have a look to get on the green in three. Is this Rebecca's second shot? Catches that tree short of the green. Paige throwing her second shot right now. No. <gasps> way up there. Great shot. She's <laughs> pure. Right outside circle one. That's not what you're going to see it's a lot. such a hard second shot. She, Dude. Made, she made it look easy. She did. Also, she got way down there on her drive. Yeah. Hokum puts her second shot up near the green as well. Not right. <sighs> Paige throwing her shirt, third shot. It's caught behind that big tree, but she'll be inside the circle. Oh, Rebecca running at it so yeah. hard. So that low ceiling caught her there. Yeah. God, she's got such an awesome... Oh, it's a downhill putt. Ouch. Full commitment. Such a confident putter. I love watching her play. Page for birdie. Nice. Wow. Beautiful putt. Nice three. She... Picking um, up so many strokes there. That's such a good three to get. This Hokum for Birdie. Oh, so close. So, uh, Paige uh, Bjorkis was actually the only three of the day. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only Birdie. Such a good three. Rebecca co coming back here. I tried to stay on top of everyone's shots, but I got a little lost. <laughs> Yeah, when it's such a long hole, I mean, a longer hole, it's, it's easy to do. Hokum taps in her par. Was hoping for the birdie, had a great putt. Uh, moving on to hole 12, we get down to these holes that are play along a path, a gravel path. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a long pure hyzer, super downhill, kind of like a late slipping, I mean a late uh, fading hyzer. We wanted to go straight for a long time, mm -hmm. about 380 feet before it starts <laughs> <laughs> fading. <laughs> so it's a rip. Yeah, and then, and of course it's downhill when it's you know, when it's fading as well um, at that point. But uh, it's so hard to, to rip it straight for that long. And, and me and Lisa weren't expecting to see people getting there, uh, but during the last round we <laughs> ate our words as we watched two people pure it. Oh my god, amazing! Still mind blown about that. I mean, Paige Beer is one of the best in the game, kind of showing us how difficult this drive is. She hits early and kind of still filters down towards the basket, no problem. Right, she'll have a open up and down. Hokum tries to work a forehand on this big hyzer line. It doesn't yeah. quite hyzer out, I think, as much as she wanted it to, but she'll have a look, even though it's going to be kind of guarded. Yeah. Rebecca, I'm not sure if that came back for her. It might yeah. be stuck on the right side I don't there. I think she got quite as good of a finish as Paige, Paige did. Paige is going to go for the green here, no doubt. She's eyeing it. Oh, oh, just coming out early. She's going full power. I mean, it's, it's easy to come out early when you're committing to a, um, a huge shot. Yeah. Seems like Paige was having a little trouble off the tee this year. <laughs> um, specifically just at this event. Hopefully we can get her dialed in before she gets to Fox tomorrow. Because you know she's got the distance to rip up these courses. Yeah, she's a champion. She's She usually plays like one. Mm-hmm. Wow. A lot of fighting her, getting up to the green, fighting through all those trees right there. Yeah, that was an amazing approach. She looks like she's inside the circle. hokum has got a little work to do for her up and down here. Puts a lot of angle on that disc. Inside the circle. Great wow. Work. Yep. Such a nice forehand touch shot. Sweet. I had to guess a putter. Paige put, had put her up shot a little deep. She runs at it. Tongue out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can tell she's working hard, huh? Yeah, for sure. A lot of focus. Oh, tickles out of the chains right side. Mm. It's a tough to one, yeah. From going 30 to bogey. Yeah. Um, round to round. Paige also walking off with a rare bogey. There's only uh, two twos on this for the day. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Who who got those twos? Kristen Tatar and Lauren Butler. Sweet. Uh huh. Nice twos, ladies. Yeah, great twos. Awesome. Two two awesome players. Yes, definitely. Kristen's got some boom on her drive. Yeah, she does. I got to play with her um, one round here at Brewster, and yeah, she put on an awesome display. Yeah. I played with her during the doubles round, the World's Mixed Doubles, and I mean, she blew my mind. Her confidence and her commitment to her shots. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a lot of power, like you said, it's fun to watch. Hole 13 is another cool signature hole, so around this corner, it's a big boom off the tee pad. That's um, also a really tough placement shot. You really want to bend it to the right side and then um, carry it over here down the fairway and then you're going down the wood chips where it really funnels into the woods here. Um, it's a really tough up and down for me to, <laughs> um, I think, to get through these trees up yeah. here. Yeah, oh totally. If you're trying to get a three on this hole, you want your drive to be far and as like as far left as you can hug, mm -hmm. um, and the then better. If you can, bend it. Um, yeah, here we go. Hokum gets way down there. Oh my gosh, with a great nice roll, almost full roll out okay. to the to the gravel pa uh, path, but still a great drive, lots yeah. of distance. Ideally, you want to be a little more left than that because it continues to turn to the right. Yeah. Um, but I would be stoked with that drive. Yeah, no doubt. That'll definitely uh, put you way up down the fairway. Rebecca catches a tree on the right-hand side but kicks out to the fairway. Paige does the same. Doesn't make the turn. We'll be looking down the path, though. Paige with a forehand off the tee. Love this. Yeah, I like her aggressiveness. So many more forehands this year from Paige. Yes. It's a little caught up on the side. Yeah, it's going to be tough. A little bit off the fairway. Rebecca still has a little bit to chew off before she can get to the entrance of the gap for the green, but she throws a really awesome turnover. Yeah, no doubt. Wow, that was amazing. She'll be near the mouth of the gap. Paige can't quite get it to turn over as much as she wants. Mm -hmm. uh, she might be down in that little gully. There's a little yeah, gully right there next to the bridge. She's going to be scrambling. All these ladies are scrambling a little bit up this fairway so far. Oh, It's a tough one. Paige playing with the gully as well. A lot of angle, a lot wow. of hyzer. Wow, she gets two great forward rolls on her drives Sweet. on this hole. And she'll be near circle's edge. It's so nice to have a pure hyzer like that mm -hmm. um, to knife in. Mm -hmm. um, just really nice, really pretty flight. It's crazy that she can throw it on such a steep hyzer angle yeah. and still get it to carry. Mm -hmm. You know, when you throw like that, sometimes your dish just wants to die. True. Yeah, to have enough pan to where yep. it kind of slides. Mm hmm that was such a great Tricky approach. Tricky upshot here on the hugged on the tree. Rebecca, she makes it look easy. Yeah, she really makes that makes good work of that one. Uh, Paige. Paige pitches up to the green. I believe that she, that was her third shot. I believe so, and that's going to be a tester just on the circle edge. Oh no, that was her fourth shot. Oh, okay. Oh, oh <laughs> come wants that three so bad. Outside the circle here. Mm, tough one. Mm. So there's actually only one three on this hole for the day. Rebecca saving a par from her. Unfortunately, uh, landing drive. Pretty awesome to save par from where she landed off the tee. This definitely almost feels like a par five. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, like a three. It was almost like an eagle. Who got a three? Uh, Courtney Cannon. Wow. Pixie. Good. Wow. Shout out to Courtney. Great three on 13. Mm, it's unbelievable. Anyone would be happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to hole 14. It's a par three. 260 feet. It's a nice uphill hyzer. And it's a nice ace run as well. You want to yeah. kind of maybe skip one in there. If you can, get it close to the chains. Nestle up by the wood chips. The uh, Because it's uphill, it does play a little bit longer. Probably around 300, yeah, I would say. Maybe a little more. It does. It's tough to get it up there. It's a full commitment. Um, 
crush. There's also some low hanging branches that come into play. Um, Hokum tickling them, but not letting them affect her flight. Um, but on the hides there's a really low branch that you want to, you don't want to contend with. You kind of have to get your shot to penetrate low while still carrying all the way up that hill. Mm -hmm. And then keep it wide enough hyzer so you can kind of swing in at the basket. Um, Rebecca hyzer's in a little early, but she'll have a look up to the green. Maybe even a putt. Uh, okay. Too much turnover on that uh, disc. Yeah, punches it a little straighter than she wants. Boom. Oh! oh. Almost makes that. Yeah. She's way up there, though. Not a bad kick. Paige looking just to get on the green. Nice wow. scramble work. That was amazing. Just kind of laced those trees. Yeah, making it look really easy. Oh! Okay. I feel like I just expect those to go in now. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, whoa. Oh. Giving it a very aggressive run. Yeah, she did. Oh, God. Mm. Uh -huh. Hokum is all over the basket today. Yeah. All it's, over it. It's fun to watch. Ah. No. All the way in. I feel like Rebecca's head must be a little scrambled right now. She's had a rough go today. Definitely not as solid as she's been playing in the past few days. Yeah, it's tough. It's, you know, so much pressure at the world mm -hmm. and you've been playing so well. Um, but again, these courses are so technical and tight that... Um, it's important to just be so solid on all your lines and off the box. Um, make good at your scramble and on the green. So it just really tests all your skills as a player. There's actually only four twos on that hole. You would think it would be more than that. Yeah, such a surprising stat there. Yeah, so surprising. Uh, moving on to hole 15. This is a uh, this is a toughie. It's an island hole technically, and the shot off the tee pad is so scary. There's uh, some really big guardian trees that make for a really tight gap before you get to the edge of the island. Mm -hmm. Then it has to filter straight for a long way and finally hyzer at the end. Um, it's a really tough shot, but it is gettable. Yeah, first things first, just get on that island. Make it past that big fat tree there on the right that hits so many discs. Mm -hmm. And I hope there's a nice straight one. Yeah, she keeps it low. Paige is filtering right there at that tree. It hits so no. many discs, like I said. It, it knocks it straight OB. Keeps it out, out of bounds. And Paige Ooh. sneaks past it with a lot of distance, too. She's going to have a this. long look at... Yes, yeah, going to have a long look at two. Not really that long, actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to have a short look at two. <laughs> That's so impressive. So much power. Paige is showing off again her distance. Look at Rebecca, too. This is awesome. Rebecca flipping one up there. And goes nice a, and clean. Goes That's a awesome. little straighter than she wants it mm -hmm. to. Doesn't quite hyzer, but she'll have a very easy look and for Paige three. Paige is hyzering one up there. It's from that tricky drop zone. 210 feet, pretty much a pure hyzer the whole way. It's kind of a hard shot because you want it to lay down when it gets there. But this slanted green, you can see it doing some work on Hokub's disc. Yeah, it's um, tough roll away there. Pretty, pretty steep right to left slant. Yeah, it is. And with those wood chips, it's really hard for your disc to lay down. They just want to skip around. Yeah, you get some weird uh, display on this green for sure. You have to account for that on your throws. Oh, God. Oh, just chains out on the right side. That's a tough one. I mean, she is literally all over the basket on every putt. It's page for her, too. Oh, nice. huge it's birdie. A bonus birdie, I feel like, for sure. <laughs> Rebecca runs through. <laughs> oh, big, big uh, bogey save putt from Paige. That's such a great putt. Yep, from the drop zone. It's no fun to pick up extra strokes no. when you're already going out of bounds. But a bogey's good going no, out of bounds. No, saving a bogey, yeah, because yeah, um, double bogeys yeah. are not that hard from the drop zone. Rebecca saves a par. Nice clean drive, nice clean approach, no big deal. Hokum, not so happy with it, with a bogey. This is just not a forehand friendly hole, and I like her attack um, on the onto, on that hole. No doubt. Hole 16, this is a forehand friendly hole going downhill towards the wood chips. Uh, it's a super downhill hole, so you gotta account for that in 
um, on your drive and it pans out to the right side. So many trees here headed towards the green. It's kind of a bit of a crapshoot and finding that perfect line that leads you right to the basket. Um, backhand is also a great choice on this hole to get that turnover shot. It might be a more favorable line actually. So Just Paige can don't want to go early. Yeah, no, no doubt. You don't want to pull shit early because that is OB over the rock wall. And Paige was flirting with that side, but don't see the OB sign, so I guess she came down a little bit lower. I like the backhand here God. because you get that late flip and right are down you, the middle. Wow, are you kidding me? Are you kidding Almost, me? That is so Yeah, I thought good. that was going right to the pin, but that's really great. That late flip uh, kind of sends it down that shoot that you went to. Rebecca's backhand lines are just, they're like Hokum's forehand lines. So they blow here, my mind. So here we're with the flick. It comes in a little wider and see hitting those trees. Um, great, great flick. Uh, but it's a little bit of a tougher line you know, fighting those tree clusters there. And Paige with that flick approach um, off the box. She's getting some really good distance with her flick. You can tell she's been working yeah. on it. Yeah, definitely. Paige barely stays in bounds and throws Such a, a good shot straight at the pin. Perfect approach. I love it. Page from the knee, a tricky forehand. Back to back forehand. It's a late tree, but well, it might be in the circle there. No, I think so. Yeah. Look, I'm looking at birdie. A long birdie look oh! after that flick. Such a solid run. I love that. <laughs> Tries to kick it in. Rebecca looking for birdie with her sweet flexy backhand. Oh, she wanted it. Paige trying to save a par. Yay. Got it. It sticks. It tears it down. <laughs> Maybe didn't love it, but as I say, there's no pictures on the scorecard. No. <laughs> it's in. I think she's just surprised it stuck. <laughs> Paige taps in her par. No biggie. Rebecca looking to save par. No problem. And Hokum doing the same. Yep. We see her rolling. <laughs> she might be hating these baskets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so tasty. <laughs> Hole 17 winding down now. It's a part four. Down this gravel path as well. I'm gonna go straight and then take a turn to the left here. You want to on this tee shot to really get some distance. Uh, if you're tangled up early left or right, it makes the approach to the green really hard. It is a par four, but it can be gotten if you can get some good distance off the tee. Definitely, if you can keep it straight and then tail to the uh, hyzer side at the end with the backhand, um, put yourself way down the fairway for a pitch up to the basket for a birdie attempt. Um, just like all the other holes, keeping it center cut is so important. And uh, the tree. The trees kind of pinch off a little bit at the end. We'll see that on their approaches. I'm actually, I'm interested to see the line Hookum throws off the tee here because it's not a forehand friendly drive. Wow, that that's is really nice to keep it in the grass right there. That's yeah. a huge drive. Great, great placement. Rebecca keeping it low, low and center, so perfect. Wow, dude. No wonder they're on the lead card. They're killing it. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect drive. Hookum. Hookum doing the flexi backhand approach. Or excuse me, forehand. Flexi forehand. <clears throat> Keeps it so straight. Wow. That is so perfect. She's got that good distance control. And she really works. Right there at the corner where you want to be. Oh, she really works the full fairway too. Mm -hmm. You have to get creative with forehand lines on some of these backhand dominated courses. Page booms one way wow. up there. Sweet. Great drives for all these ladies. Hokum kind of taking the back door. Oh my god, and she's on the green, no prob. Sweet. For the tap and birdie. Yeah, that those trees kind of pinch off, so it makes the approach to the green uh, not as straightforward as you want it to be. Yeah. But you can definitely filter pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca puts it a little deep, but it kicks back to the green. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. Paige gets tangled up on the right hand side. She'll still have a jump putt, but it's going to be a little awkward. Paige Birkis is on the green. She's tucked behind a tree. This green has some good guardian trees on the on the edges. Some low ceiling putts for sure. Knee putts. Yep. Oh, uh, I guess up there, those low hanging branches hit her down just a little early, but that tap in looks like she'll make good work of it. Save the par. Even with <laughs> a little uh, shoulder shrug. Yeah, I'll kind of want to know what she says. Hokum taps in a bird. Such a great birdie. This is such a hard forehand hole. Second park job of the round. That's a cool stat. Another good birdie here. Paige's first park job for her bird. Sweet. Rebecca as well. First of the round. Wow, those are cool. Yeah, I like that. New features. And here we are in hole 18. 345 feet. It's a nice straight pull towards the basket. Straight for a long time. Yeah, I see a lot of players taking that hyzer route on the right, uh, the right hand side gap. And it funnels you right to the basket is really nice. You kind of want to get over that push. There's that little guardian tree on the right hand side that protects from the hyzer if you can get it all the way down there. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely a really good pull for these ladies and they have the power to get it up there for a putt. Pretty much you just want to get it as far up as you can because the further back you are the more well, <laughs> a lot of bounce on that frisbee but it could piss it right nice in the middle. <laughs> so much action. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's so t uh, tight and technical, though. Uh, you're really trying to get a full boom on this disc, but keep it straight. So it's really challenging. Rebecca kind of filters over to the left. She'll have a bunch more trees to contend with on the, contend with on that side of the fairway, but definitely still in, uh, a gettable approach to the green. Pokemon booms the forehand down there. She yeah, circle two. circle two. Circle yeah. two. Mm -hmm. Paige is definitely lining this up for the basket. Flexes one out. But that feels good. That's the right first one she's... Over the bush. It's one of the first ones she's gotten nice. off the tee in a while. And wow, places it right up there. That's, I know that's got to feel good. Last hole, finish strong, all that. <laughs> <laughs> Paige pitches it up. No problem. Ooh, full commitment from the knee from Rebecca. Nice up and down. Ooh, oh, good run. For she two. wants the birdie. I think that's the first time she threw a putt that didn't hit the basket. <laughs> Paige with a big birdie to finish the day. Nice. She shows a lot of focus and fire here on at the end of the round. Hope I'm looking to save her par. Yep. Should not be a problem. She's cleaning up now. Impressive round here from Paige Bierkis. Coming in strong here at the end. Circle one putting 100%. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. That's really going to help separate you from the pack as well. That's such a huge stat. So we finished Brewster Ridge. Paige has a strong back nine. So does Sarah Hokum. Um, Rebecca just behind her. Paige has a little bit of struggle bus on the beginning of the front nine. Um, drops go. out of the top four. Kristen Tatar has a really strong back nine and climbs up. Um, so tomorrow we get to awesome. hang out with Paige Bierka, Sarah Hokum, uh, Kristen Tatar. And, and Rebecca Cox. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't remember. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, yeah. Innova and the PGA for supporting this footage. Thanks to Jomas for getting out there in the field and doing the camera work doing the editing so yeah. quickly and thanks for having us on for a commentary we love uh bring it to you lady bring it to everyone <laughs> ladies and gentlemen out especially there especially the ladies <laughs> <laughs> thank you for covering the fpo again <laughs> um come hang out with us tomorrow we're going back to uh fox run meadows hopefully it won't be windy i'm madison walker and i'm lisa fakus and we'll see you guys soon